Hey folks, here at OS Reviews. You're watching our retro video unboxing at the LG Prada, also known as the LG KE850. What's exciting about this particular handset is that it was the world's first capacitive touchscreen phone. So it predated the iPhone in many ways in terms of being the first consumer device to really not use a resistive touchscreen, which was really less sensitive and you had to use a stylus or your fingernails as opposed to the flesh of your fingertips, uh, which made operation a lot easier. And because of that, LG is still in debates with Apple in terms of, oh, did Apple copy LG, and so on and so forth, when this phone was first released back in 2006, early 2007. The original price tag for the LG product was quite steep, coming in at over 750 US dollars, but the phone was unlocked, and also, with anything with a fashion house brand name like Prada or Armani, you have to expect a bit more of the more expensive price tag in general um, than just something produced alone by LG or by Samsung. Now, the device in general uh, was also more of a feature phone than the real smartphone, and we'll certainly see that later on. Um, it did have a slate from Factor, so it had a 3-inch display with a rather mediocre resolution by today's standards, but back in the day it was pretty nice. It had a 240 by 400 pixel resolution. There's a 2 megapixel sensor um, and also Bluetooth 2.0 USB. There wasn't Wi-Fi, uh, but it was again unlocked as a GSM quad-band world phone and it weighed 85 grams, which is pretty lightweight, and in terms of technology, it also had a few interesting games on board, Adobe Flash UI. You could play movies, you can look at, listen to music, and basically do all the normal features you would have on a multimedia device. So taking a look at the packaging, of course, with anything, again, really by LG and Prada, you see that you have a lot of detail going into the packaging. We have a almost a fake leather material being placed on here, so it looks pretty fancy. The box itself, we open it up, and on the very top, we have access just to the phone. So a really nice presentation, kind of being used for the first time in the mobile world. Um, taking up the phone first is actually, again, pretty shiny, and you can see the LG, the Prada branding on the very top, and then LG's branding is much more discreet and located on the back of the device. Uh, and of course, we have the 2 megapixel sensor, which is autofocus enabled with flash. Again, still pretty sleek, it's a pretty slim device. It kind of resembles the iPhone 4S, I think, because it's got this really rectangular slab look to it, and at the time it was quite modern looking and quite revolutionary, just because at the time, you know, we really didn't have anything with uh, a capacitive screen and looked really sleek and simple and elegant. So aside from the phone, we're gonna take a look at the other contents of the packaging. Inside, we have access to some pretty interesting accessories. Um, the first thing that I see is going to be the charger, because this is an unlocked device. It's a European device that was originally released in Europe and then brought to the U.S. We do have a European adapter or a charger, and so you can see how it's the European prongs, and then it has a pretty good cord length. It uses a proprietary LG charger uh, that was pretty much the norm back in the day for LG devices. And inside there's also an adapter that's included that you had to basically use to of transform your device um, for export trouble adapter to transform the European tip into the US tip which was a bit clumsy but at least it was included in the box. Other contents included we have of course the battery and the battery we have here is the 800 milliamp hour battery so a bit on the low side. Battery life for this phone when it was first released wasn't that bad just because it didn't have the many features or apps or anything like that. It could actually last about two to three days before you had to recharge it again. And so we can kind of go back and take a look at this is the back door. And the battery would basically fit in here. Something that this phone's kind of reminiscent of for me is the LG View for um, AT&T. Of course, it's a lot less expensive. Inside, we have access to a micro SD card and the full-size SIM card. And again, this is basically where we would put in our battery compartment and close things up. There we go. Other contents in the packaging included a leather case that was again designed by Prada in conjunction with LG and it had the Prada branding on the very bottom there. Basically it's a slip case which is in a full protective case but basically this has a microfiber internal and you simply slide it in to protect it from any damage. You can still see the Prada logo when it's in there, so it's more for decorative purposes, and it protects the device from any scratches on the camera lens and also any from the screen, but at the same time, it's not the most comprehensive case. It's more of a fashion case. Other contents included 
an adapter because we did not have a 3.5 mm jack. There was actually an adapter you had to use um, and also Prada branded earphones. And basically we fit that into the proprietary LG slot. And on the other hand, we have access to this uh, adapter that you can use to play pause music, skip tracks, and also send or talk. Um, there's also a hold key. And on the other side, there's volume rockers, which is pretty tactile. There's also a small microphone for you to answer and to talk with if you are using it as a speakerphone kind of. And so it's a nice accessory it's included. On the other end, we have a 3.5mm jack just to convert it for audio. And over here, there's another Prada branded cleaning cloth that you use to clean the screen with. It's a microfiber cloth. And finally, there is a CD-ROM that tells you more information. There's also a user manual kind of installed in there. You can use it to install a sync software with your PC or Mac and also a includes a digital copy of the user's manual. And finally, we have an actual hard copy of the user's manual in the box. And if we take that open, so let's rip that open. We see that it's printed in both English as well as Chinese. And this is a manual. It actually looks like a thick book back in the day when we still had very thick user manuals. So over here we have the English part. Um, it's actually quite dense. So at the time there's a lot of features that had to go over and explain road safety, how the keys uh, operated, the main menu, the touchscreen display, how to operate it, change the battery. And so it's pretty complimentary. It tells you how to use basically all the elements of the device back in the day where we still didn't have too many smartphones uh, that had a capacitive touchscreen. So quite a useful little guide. So, and we actually get actually one more content in the packaging, which happens to be a micro SD card and a full sized SD card adapter from LG. It's a very small SD card, though, we basically have just 256 megabytes. But uh, it was all right back then, it could actually fit quite a few photos, uh, again, with the 2 megapixel sensor on board. And so, it was actually nice to have this little card that's included to expand on the built-in yeah, LG and Prada really tried to do a great job in terms of designing something that was both functional in the UI and also really strong in the hardware and could really tell in terms of the fashion and the detailing that goes associated with the phone in general. Um, it's actually still quite beautiful and in today's design language it still fits right on in so it was kind of the precursor to the most modern day smartphones that we have even here in 2014 and 2015. Anyways, this has been a very interesting look back slash video retro unboxing of the LG Prada, and you can actually check out our original review for the LG Prada KE50 on our site, and uh, you can also read our original review that was published way back then. Thanks for watching this retro video unboxing here at OS Reviews. This has been the LG Prada, or the LG KE850.